Mercedes and Ferrari officially introduced improvements to their W13 and F175 during the summer break. The two front teams are raising the bar to catch the current leader and the title holder Red Bull. However, Red Bull fans are so excited for the next part of the season, wondering if their team is actually working on some upgrades to bring into Belgium next week. In fact, no reports or trusted news about similar information. Isn't Red Bull bringing changes to the RB18 at Spa? Is their car that much perfect not needing any modifications? What are the limitations of the ZS's Red Bull car? We will be revealing for you the newly released news about whether Red Bull are bringing updates for the coming Belgian Grand Prix and what does Verstappen think about. Keep on watching guys, subscribe to our channel for great Formula 1 content. So Red Bull are probably following the famous quote saying to never change a winning team. No reports or news did actually talk about the first team leading the championship and introducing changes to their car. My rivals have been working hard during the break to come up with something that could close the gap between them and the leader. Max Verstappen, the 2021 world champion and the current leader of the standing with 258 points, 80 points behind his direct contender Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc. Verstappen is happy with his performance and the great season he's having so far. However, this isn't enough for him. Ask about the way he spent his summer break, especially with the very comfortable position he scored at the first half of the season, the Dutch young driver confirmed that he isn't the type of drivers to spend the whole break chilling out, adding that counting point isn't his big focus, because he's actually caring about improving himself at perfection every weekend. Verstappen is perhaps imitating his rival's mentality, Lewis Hamilton, the seven times world champion, and the legendary driver not being satisfied no matter how things get better, while working hard to dominate. That what made the Brighton get to achieve all what he could achieve during his amazing career. Verstappen confirmed that at this position he still can't feel relaxed and still work hard on his cars' flaws to win more and more races. If you know me, first of all, I will not be laying on the beach, and second of all, I don't really care about the points gap, because for me, it's all about trying to be perfect every single weekend. It's not something that once you have that gap, that you start to relax. I still want to win more races. And that's what we'll try to do as a team. Verstappen had previously struggled from his cause's reliability and overweight compared to Ferrari's F175. The team's engineer tried to introduce small changes working on these flaws, as well as the lack of pace Verstappen faces sometimes during the qualifying session. Analyzing the young driver's journey this season, Formula 1 analysts could notice a significant problem causing Verstappen's losing the races he lost at the first part. The Dutch was clearly limited by the 2022 car version as well as the first generation of the tires Pirelli developed for the 18-inch wheels especially during the street track with slow corners. He actually admitted that during a recent interview saying that the street track are tougher for him, which shows the RB18 flaws rivals may take as advantage. Formula 1 analysts and experts have also discussed Verstappen's car having a more benign front end, which limits its performance on track. Verstappen is actually able to manage this limit. Another element is when the Dutch tries to show an interesting car command that goes more front end grip, he flexes his muscle. Manipulating the rotation of the car's rear easily makes him as a young driver one of an elite crop of drivers who can judge that. Max with his team discussed the idea of giving the car a more positive front. However, Red Bull, technical staff and engineers preferred not to change a lot and keep on making small retouching. Actually, these new car's problems are a result of this year's car concept changes FIA made in order to reduce dirty air produced by the old generation of Formula 1 cars. The Formula 1 governing body decided after several technical studies decided to introduce a new aerodynamic concept for 2022. In order to improve the performance, front wing became simpler having wing flaps that stretch all the way to the nose and the rear wing design was made in a way to help pushing the aerodynamic wake up over the car following behind, with a controversial big change going from fairly flat floor with a step design to the 2022 version with a deep underfloor tunnels to produce downforce through ground effect. This made team's engineers focus more on ground effect aerodynamics on the 2022 cars, with the floors working hard made the center of pressure more rearward than the car's version before. So car are actually producing more downforce at the rear than the front, which will make the manipulation of the aero balance that normally induce under steers difficult, especially when running at low speed. In fact, Red Bull isn't the only front team to struggle with that problem. On the contrary, they are actually managing it better and made a significant progress. Ferrari's driver Charles Leclerc has previously talked about this and at the start of the season and how he had an unstable rear. However, Verstappen believed that this issue is getting better and the main issue limiting his performance are tires. They had to bring a tire and they didn't really know how much downforce we would have or the weight of the car. It is very hard for Pirelli to have had a full idea of what to expect or what they were going to get. Pirelli announced the next year front tire will be stronger, thing that may distribute the industry bothering drivers this year. However, the company boss Mario Azola confirmed 
confirmed that they won't be changing the whole tire design, but they will be making modifications to fit new car's regulations. The reality is seen in 2022 cars and the possible gains in downforce for the 2023 cars, reducing the understeer through construction, not compound, as Isola stated. Verstappen hopes his team may work to find a way to solve this problem so his RB80 may run better. It's not ideal, but that's why as a team you have to work around that issue with a car to try to make the car turn a bit better, which on some track of course is better and on some tracks is more of limitation just because of the layout. I hope for next year something can be done. Verstappen pointed the fact that he with his comment he doesn't try to criticize the multinational tire manufacturer in any way because he understands perfectly that this came after the FIA changing the concept for the 2022 where cars produce more downforce at the rear. However, the Dutch young talent suggested that the Italian company should work with more cars during the development program to be able to estimate the balance degree in the real cars. Replying on this, Pirelli boss Mario Zola admitted that this is a real issue drivers from different teams talk about during the meeting they regularly do three times per year. Zola firmly added that their company doesn't receive specific requests from particular teams to introduce changes or improvements, but they collect data and feedback from different teams during their meetings and work to come up with a stronger front tire. I understand the point. This is the feedback we collected with all teams in a specific meeting that we do about tires three times per year. So we're not working on a specific request from one team. That was the general feedback to have a stronger front tire. We've said we're doing this, this, this. Do you agree? And they said yes. That is what we want for next year. Let's see if we achieve the target. Verstappen discussed also another limitation for his car. Even if the tire issue will be fixed, this could still a real problem which is the car's weight. Ferrari made a long way to get a great car weight for a better performance and pace. This was a very strong advantage for Charles Leclerc and his team if they had a better strategy and could avoid the engine bad surprises they faced. Verstappen believes his team still have what to do on this particular point to gain more especially in the slow speed corners. Until then, they will be carrying a weight penalty until the RB18 gets a few kilos less. The young Dutch asked directly for new car upgrades from his team. We still need to bring updates to the car and they need to work and it's no guarantee. The title holder says that this current position and his teams in the standing doesn't hide the fact of their performance analysis during the qualifying session related to the cause's weight. The RB18 is being heavier when the fuel is drained from the tank. According to Verstappen, the major upgrade must be the weight, the more complex element like untangling the physics of the 2022 cars in case they are looking to maintain their position on top of the drivers' and constructors' championships. When people say Red Bull has been really good in the past with upgrades and developing through the season, we have to show it again because every year you start thinking like that, then normally you fall behind because you think you're that good. Verse 7 seems to be looking for perfection and things can be better than the actual ones. Mentioning that he didn't feel yet his team is dominating a whole weekend from the beginning to the end, even if they have been winning races along the first half of the season. So far, there hasn't been a dominant weekend for us. In general, in the beginning of the year, I felt like we were the ones racing and trying to beat Ferrari. From my feeling, it's still a bit of chasing. It depends on track, but overall, I felt like they had more dominant weekends than we had. As a Red Bull fan, what is your opinion about all this? Do you think Red Bull's strategy keeping the same settings is correct or Verstappen is right? Can this have a real effect on Red Bull's performance next weekend, especially during the qualifying? Leave us a comment down below and invite your friends and Formula 1 fans around you to watch this video. If you're looking for a good Formula 1 content, consider subscribing to our channel. We do our best to provide you with the newest news and updates. That was all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.